Alright y'all. Back at y'all again. Um let me get my finger out the way. That's number one. So it's time for me to redo these twists. They are super old. Um I wanna do a video about basically um maximizing your harvest. Um, I noticed that there are so many different things that people are growing. And um, a lot of times, especially different cultures in different countries, use foods and things like that differently. And a lot of times, if you're not in that country or you don't study other, other cultures, you won't even really realize. And here lately, I was um, hip to a few things in a, um, you know that people grow, and I didn't even know was edible so I want to do a video on that because it's some very common things that people are growing and they only are harvesting the fruit or the vegetable from it and they're not basically reaping the benefits of the of a, you know they could basically have a much larger harvest and be, be eating much more than they actually are so I just wanted to talk about a few things that maybe people didn't know was edible that is edible. Now I'm going to start with the stuff that I've actually tried. Um, and then at towards the end I'll, I'll tell you about the ones that I learned about recently that I have not tried. But I'm going to try very soon. So first of all, if you're growing sweet potatoes, please don't think that the sweet potatoes under the ground are the only thing that's edible. I realize a lot of people know that the sweet potato leaves are edible, but there may be a few people watching this video that doesn't know that. So, um, some people do eat them uh, raw. Um, I've heard that if you're going to eat them raw, you need to get the really young, tender leaves. Not the older ones. Um... Me personally, I don't care for them raw, but I'm not telling you to not try it. Always try it because your palate may be different than somebody else's. Um, but I usually saute mine. Um, and, you know, when they saute up, you can use it like you would use spinach or anything like that. You would treat it the same. And it cooks about the same. It cooks really quick. Um, and I find that it works really well like that. So, first one is uh, sweet potato leaves. The second one is any leaves off any brassica plants. So by brassicas, what do I mean? Broccoli, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, radishes, um, collard greens, mustard greens, um, what else? Cauliflower. Um, any seed, if you, if, if any, like y'all know what a collard green seed like, look like. If, it, if the seed look like a collard green seed, it's a brassica. It's in the brassica family. Now, radishes don't look exactly the same. But, um, actually, radishes might not be in the brassica family, but I know they're related. But, I, you know what, they're not in the brassica family. But you can eat the leaves on radishes. Um, so, ooh, let's not cover the camera. So, um, make sure that any of those crops, please do not just harvest your broccoli heads. Or just harvest your cauliflower heads. Or just harvest the head of the cabbage. Eat all of them leaves. They are all edible. Do not throw them away unless you just, it, but if you don't like brassicas, you shouldn't be growing them anyway. But um, yeah, all those leaves are edible. Um, they all cook down very similar to collards. I actually like the taste of broccoli and cauliflower leaves more than collards. Um, but they taste they taste very, very similar similarly. Um, but yeah, so for instance, if you really like collard greens, don't grow a million collard plants. If you like other stuff too, like cabbage, uh, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, all that kind of stuff, grow you a few cabbage plants, but then grow you a few broccoli, a few, you know, maybe two or three broccoli, two or three cauliflower, you know, all that stuff. And then when you harvest the leaves, you'll have so many leaves, it'll be just like you got a huge pot of collards. It's just like uh, one time I grew Brussels sprouts, and Brussels sprouts make so many leaves, y'all. But you're supposed to break the leaves off. As it gets taller and taller, you only leave the leaves at the very top. But don't throw those leaves away. Eat them leaves. Eat them. Okay? What's the next thing? Um, what's the next thing? Uh, what else can you eat that people are usually not eating? Those are probably the main ones that I know about that people are not eating what else yeah 
So let's move on to the ones that I know that I didn't know about that you could eat. So all these people growing squash. And I'm like, and I saw I saw somebody harvesting squash leaves, and I'm like, what they snatching them leaves out for? They're like, oh, they're gonna eat them. Like you're gonna eat them? What? You can eat them? Yes, people, the squash leaves and the squash stems. You can eat them. And they said they said the tender leaves are better. But you just saute them up and eat them. And so they in 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 Africa and other countries, and and this is the same for pumpkin. So I don't think it's just squash. It can be some squash. It can be winter squash. It can be pumpkin. Anything in them families, you can eat the leaves on. And in other countries, people eat the leaves on that all the time. Now y'all tell me how many times the squash bugs and got y'all plants. By the time that y'all waiting for them to fruit, waiting for them to fruit, they done grew a whole bunch of leaves. But it killed the plant before you got any fruit. You could have harvested some of those leaves and ate them. You see what I'm saying? We be throwing food away, y'all. We got to quit. We got to quit throwing food away. So, once I found that out, that has invigorated me to grow me some squash next year and try the leaves. And even if I don't get any fruit, I don't feel so bad because at least I got to eat the leaves. Because I knew you could eat the blossoms and all of that. Another plant I didn't know you could eat the leaves. Turmeric. Turmeric. And you can eat the blossoms on turmeric too. So you mean to tell me all this time I've been growing this turmeric and I'm just waiting on the roots. Waiting on the roots. And you can eat the leaves. So I've seen where they'll take the leaves and like just like you're doing a cabbage roll. You take the leaves and you use the leaves of the turmeric. And roll those up and use those. So, y'all, if you're growing turmeric, please, you know, try the leaves. See how you like them. I've seen other people where they put the leaves raw in a salad. Like I said, I haven't tried. The, I'm going to try it, you know, because I got some growing right now. Um, they put the leaves raw in a salad or they'll chop them up and stir fry them. Just all, all this different stuff. Another thing you can eat the leaves on. A lot of people probably know this, but it's really more Caribbean or tropical uh, areas that do this. Uh, you find a lot in the Caribbean and places where bananas grow wild. A lot in, in Africa, they do it too. It's banana leaves or plantain leaves. Now, a lot of times they wrap those, they'll wrap something and steam, you know, things inside the leaves or whatever. So it's not technically eating them, but you get what I'm saying though. There's more to the plant that's useful than just the banana, right? So um, if you're growing bananas and, you know, you want to steam some stuff inside the leaves or, you know, use the leaves like that, do it. So those are the plants I know of as of right now. Any other plants I come across that I find out that, I've been growing and I've been throwing away pieces I could have been eating. <laughs> I'll come back at y'all with another video and, and pass that information on. But, uh, yeah. So, hope y'all enjoyed the video. If it's anything y'all know about that people eat that, you know, people don't talk about that often, put it in the comment section and I would love to see, you know, because I'm not, I don't know everything. You know, it's always people watching my stuff that tell me stuff and I learn stuff all the time. So, Y'all put down in the comment section if y'all knew about all of those. And also tell me, um, is there anything that, you know, you might know of that, you know, can be used on these plants. And maybe it's not a well-known use or even if it's not eating it or, you know, just a use for it that maybe people don't talk about or don't mention very often. All right. So, uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Um, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Y'all kill me. Hit the what's wrong with y'all. Hit the subscribe button. Um, so y'all know and hit the notification bell too, because you know YouTube will play you. You'll subscribe and then you still won't know when I'm getting videos because you ain't hit the notification bell. So make sure you do that too. And um until next time I will see you guys later.